All right, I wanted to do a follow-up video on the patch 2.0 discussion as I mentioned earlier. The main benefit is the improved responsiveness in the right stick for rhythm shooting. So as you can see right here, I'm letting a lot of these go off very quickly out of catches which weren't possible before. But there are a bunch of secret additions and changes to NBA 2K25 patch 2.0 like now you are able to do fast fades out of your rhythm shots that is moving left or right while holding turbo hold up on the right stick to execute your fast fades and then just perform your rhythm shot accordingly by pulling the right stick in the opposite direction and then releasing at your release point so now you are able after patch 2.0 to execute fast fades out of rhythm shots instead of going into a go-to shot or a step back jumper, this is a big limiting factor prior to patch 2.0, which limited a lot of your shot creation. The next thing I want to discuss is that the dunk meter, activating the dunk meter is now a little bit more involved in how you should enter your right stick input. So as you can see right here, holding R2, pushing the right stick up and down did not result in a dunk meter input. To fix this, you have to be a little bit more quicker in executing your dunk stick input. Now, they didn't really explain why this is the case, but my, my theory is with the introduction of the responsiveness, the new responsiveness to the right stick, it made timing certain combos a little bit more involved, a little bit quicker, a little bit more deliberate. So when executing your dunk meter combos, you have to be a little bit more deliberate. As you can see right there, it did not register. But if we try and do it a little bit faster by pushing up and down on the right stick very quickly, as you can see, the dunk meter, dunk meter, meter dunking is still there, just needs a little bit more focus. Okay, the third and this ties well into the second point I made on meter dunking and your need for precision on the right stick. This translates to combo moves as well. So combo moves are right stick inputs from right to left or left to right. That will give you two, dri two different dribble sequences. For example, that hezzy cross with KD or this between the legs, double, double between the legs combo. You can also do your aggressive breakdown com or aggressive combo move by holding R2 pushing the right stick right to left or left to right. Now, the issue is if you do it slower, you will execute either a combination of signature size ups or some other right stick combo like a sham god or a hezzy crossover. Or in this case, if you're doing your aggressive combo moves while holding R2, it will result in your escape dribble combo move sequences. So now, Similar to the dunk stick, if you are a fan of combo moves and like using them, you should be a little bit more quick and deliberate in how you input your right stick switch back combos. So this is a result of the changes in the responsiveness on the right stick. The way things register, I think you need to be a little bit more quick in order to make sure you're getting the right combination of inputs. So there you have it, a few hidden and important changes due to patch 2.0 that will lead to some confusion need to get into the lab a little bit more to make sure that these work really well and to make sure that you're a lot more deliberate in how you input your combos but as i said earlier i think the big headline feature here is now you can do fast fades using the right stick unlocking this for rhythm shooting by holding up on the right stick while holding turbo again Holding R2 and holding the right stick right to left while moving left to right will give you step back jumpers. But if you hold up on the right stick, you now have the ability to do fast fades. Didn't have time to edit this video. It's late at night right here, but I'm, hope, I'm hoping you learned a lot from this. See you in the next one. Peace.